Shay, wait, wait, ho. We're back, ladies and gentlemen, with another episode of Faye and Jay. This is episode four. She's Faye. Yay! How He's you doing? Jay. Of course. And <laughs> as we promised, because this is the episode Faye really, really wants to do, we are going to go. I dressed up for it. Yes, we're going down the rabbit hole, Alice. So. <laughs> <laughs> yes, is you're my all, hatter. So. This is all about conspiracy theories, urban legends, mystical creatures, the whole enchilada. So um, we're going to tackle the first, uh, one of the big, big conspiracy theories that we didn't talk about last episode I wanted to talk about. And this conspiracy theory is that lizard people run the government. Okay, yes. shadow government yes. is what people well, will call it, right? Shadow government, but also the lizard people. And that's one the the, the the lizard people. If let me explain well, this, are you saying like the look? Because there's ranks to it. Yeah, there's... do you know about that? So it's yeah. like reptilian, draconian. Yes, so that's what I mean by the lizard people. The reptilian. Okay. Run okay. the run the government. This is the big conspiracy theory, which is really populated, famous by David Icke, and also William Cooper, who's the author of the Pale Horse, the who knows it, um the White Pale Horse, something like that, along those lines. Uh, correct me in the comment section about the proper title. I'll look it up later. But yes, yes. David Icke, William Cooper were really heavy on this conspiracy theory that there is aliens or AKA reptilians that are, are, are government officials are actually alien reptilian humanoids. Shapeshifters. Shapeshifters <laughs> that secretly run the government. Shut I up. personally, I it's for me, it's a stretch. But sometimes when I see these YouTube videos and you see these uh, celebrities or politicians glitching out and they're like. Yeah, that's freaky. Yeah. And you're like, the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> yes. So I could I feel that. And, uh, you know, you, you do hear about it. But I'm the one to go and research it up. Maybe I won't know the person's name, but I'm <laughs> like. This is about right. You know, I try mm. to connect the dots, but you can never say you're right. You can never say it's allegedly. All yes. righty. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> let's, 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 let's do that famous word so yeah. we don't be in a courtroom system like You Diddy. know, I was, I was right. No, Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to call it something, but yeah, no, Diddy for sure. But um, y'all let us know in the comments what y'all think about reptilians. Now, a lot of people do believe in it. Um, I want to know your take because I feel like you're like about it. I just think there's evil people out there. So yes. I believe it, you know? I think, I see, see, for me, I do believe in something called, I do believe in angels and demons and things like that because I'm a spiritual and also grew up Christian and things like that. So I believe in demons. Now, if they said demons run the government, I'd be like, yeah. Um, as far as the alien reptilian thing goes, honestly, I one of those people that believe we are definitely not alone in the universe because I, I don't see how we can be. Um, there's absolutely right. there's so much. It's too much. I will be more concerned, and we'll get into this down the line. I'm more concerned personally. This is my personal fear, folks. I'm more concerned about down there, meaning the ocean, what's down there compared to Did what's you see above. the whales when the whales came out? I think I talked about this on another episode. But honestly, I'm opposite from you. I honestly, it, I'm more scared that they're walking amongst us mm. than like something that God can control. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like when I say that, there's polarity. You know what I mean? So I know that if there's something good and great, and there's something fucked up too. <laughs> but you know, that's everybody's thing. I do believe in all that. So call me one. I'm a conspiracy theorist, well, right? For her, well, for Faye, she says yes. On my for, side. So yes. so are you gonna say yes to the lizard people? Yes. Okay. Well, yeah, I would call them reptilians or jacobians. Well, the reptilians. 
Me, I just think they just proper names so they could get away from me, you know. <laughs> I, me, this one, the reptilian one is a stretch for me. I just think a lot of these people are some serious heavy drugs or they're probably clones or that glitched out. Like, I don't know. For me, it, it, it's but you, but you believe in clones. I feel like there's somebody behind the clone, you know. Well, there's I mean? someone that's someone controlling the clones, but I mean, folks, you can go on. Like, YouTube. I'm not saying they're going to come out like um, and tell you don't be a crackhead, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that you, you know, like, yeah, compared to last episode, yes. If yes. there was a reptilian that came to me and be like, don't do drugs, <laughs> and I'm be like, all right, I'm gonna call Faye, me like, they're here, get your shit, yeah. get your family, let's go, <laughs> right? Yes, but I think there's a big barrier on good and bad people, so if you're good, don't be worried about it. You shouldn't be like, you know, just like the government. If you're doing something fucked up, then, yeah, be scared. <laughs> you know? I, I, but... I do agree that there might be levels to the shit in which we will go yes. into in a, in a few, especially when it comes like to the Illuminati. Yes. Which, Supposedly, which is... that's all them. Yeah. If you want to get into like switching it up. Yeah. It's supposedly all them. Uh, um, apparently. Apparently, it's Daisy different levels of Masons. IP. Yes, I have I have met a Mason, which tripped me out because mm. I was already down the rabbit hole, you know, but his family was a farmer. So I was like, oh. <laughs> I don't well, know about the levels, you know, dude. but from the Masons that I've talked to, there seems to be like different types of groups. Like there's legit right. Masons that don't do any of this Illuminati stuff, apparently. That's the and, one I talked to. Yeah. yeah. And then there's. The Illuminati Masons who are just they they study black magic. You think they corrupted art. it? Because I know uh, like yeah. some people I think you know, anything with a mass of people, they're gonna try to corrupt it. Anything like, mu the music industry. <laughs> that's another conspiracy theory. Well, we, we did touch about it, but we can recap that that in a second. But yes, to answer yes. your question, I think, yeah, I think everything has been corrupted in some shape or form and yeah. evil has its manipulation in almost everything it's up i to mean us. movies yeah like was it what movie was that uh the craft oh, they yeah. were using actual chants and you know that's bringing it in into your home yeah. you know oh there's uh, also not to cut you off sorry but there's no, also the um the vibrational conspiracy theory. Um, what is it? The uh oh my gosh. What what like the they, frequency? When, the frequency, but it's also when you reverse the music, you hear um like the, something else. Yes. Like like, the, like it'll be like love and then it's yes. yeah, right? They're praising okay, Satan, yeah. like the Beatles was one of the most known for uh they, I forgot which song it was. See, I don't want to throw anybody under the bus. So allegedly, yeah, you know allegedly. One, if you, okay. Allegedly, folks, the Beatles, even Michael Jackson apparently had a track where if you were, you know, you hear things reversed backwards. And it's just like, but I saw a clip where he actually didn't like that some of the frequencies were low. Yeah. 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 And I think Prince as well. Like they're yeah. all about that. Yeah. Music changes. Um, music. So this have started off like the conspiracy and all that with sex parties. I want to start that the 1930s. Let's go back. OK. okay. Yep. We're in time travel. Woo! OK. All right. 1930s. Um, the book that was written. Did you see that? The clip we were um, I think you, you sent it through via Instagram. His name was like Rudolph. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I, I, so he started all that. He started yes, the all that. Guys. All the video I didn't told you about, know yes. that. I didn't yes. know that this yes. been going on. I'm like, what? My genre fucked it up. No, it's been going on. This is uh, the theory of sex magic, folks. If you don't know what sex magic so is, so going on to the Illuminati. Yeah. Yes, this is all about them, and the theory is, folks. The theory, and audience, correct me if I'm wrong on this, but on this particular subject, but it is apparently through orgasms when you climax, I should say, to put oh, yes. it on. Yes. Do like climax. it was masturbation, yeah. anal, and hetero. But that's what got me was what's up with all this crazy stuff 
Like, he didn't even start no crazy stuff. He His was kind of normal. Not to be like I'm about it, but <laughs> just saying, why did y'all add all this crazy stuff, people? Like, panda eyes. I don't get it. It, it. It's supposed to be rituals that will grant you what you one desires, and that's the power of sex magic. So during the heightness of your climax, whatever you willed will be. And then they also have this theory that through anal and that was sex, the three, yeah, yes, yes that's, yeah. through, that's why through anal sex and other, other sexual acts, through that height of the climax during those acts, not only are you controlling the person that you're in, and you also get the desire. But you effect. have to climax at the same time, is yes. what I got. And yes. that's something I didn't know. So I was yeah. like, that's kind of crazy because you'd have to try again. Yes, over and over again. And so and what then got gets... me was the the age of it. Yes. That's that's the that's... theory. That's yeah, the okay. theory. And this is why allegedly they target younger. And this is why you get so much kidnappings. And keep in mind, folks, this is the conspiracy theory. This is why you get so much missing children. Yes. And if you don't know who we're talking about, you could look up um what's his whole name? Rudolph. I can't remember. Uh... I am so sorry. I will tr we'll try to get the name under the comments. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so basically he started it off and I feel like they started using fame. Like um, this one chick that looked like Marilyn Monroe. It's like if Jay is like fake, go out mm -hmm. there and just get people and say it's the coolest party you're going to be at. Mm -hmm. And I think that's where all of the fame hungry people came about and that's why i want to bring that up first to get a little bit of like where it started that it didn't start all crazy because i know people that have orgies i mean you hear about it right <laughs> like i don't know people like that but you know and i think they use that like loosely right they're mm. like whatever we're just having fun but these parties they're actually doing magic so that's yeah. what's different about mm -hmm. these parties that was my whole point. Think so, of, diving in that. <laughs> think of the movie, folks, Eyes Wide Shut. If you've ever seen that movie with Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman, you've heard of these kind of Eyes Wide Shut parties where there are a lot of rituals going on. A lot of people wear these yeah. masks. There's blood, you know, blood transfusion sacrifices, things of that nature. This is where apparently a lot of the dark magic and magic and, and sex magic all happen at these particular parties. And like Faye was just saying, if you've noticed the parallel of these particular parties, somebody else allegedly, I'm just saying allegedly, has been arrested and has been known for throwing these type of wild parties. You know, the yeah, diddler. Those so, white, the white parties. The white yeah. parties, all that stuff is all centered apparently around sex and magic and thus so, why so the ironic part is we're talking about others but yeah at the moment he is in jail for this so yes. um actually happy about that so to cast and everybody <laughs> uh congratulations on starting that um but did, have you heard of them going to influencers? Yes, I've heard about that. And here's the thing, folks. This is a great thing. I'm glad you brought that up. So influencers are the most naive, easily controlled people because yeah. they have this desire and need for validation. And they are willing to sacrifice whatever to get it. Not saying all, but you can tell right. which influencers Most, are yeah. bought, paid for, sold out already. Some of your favorite YouTubers, some of your favorite Instagrammers, some of your favorite TikTokers yeah. are down. They're not with... normally acting like that. That's like me just all of a sudden throwing up signs and you're like, yeah. hey. Yes. <laughs> down yeah. for the cause. Down for right. the cause. And yeah. they've been targeting... So because let's be honest, celebrity is kind of dying. People, the, the age of the movie star, the music star, it is not the same impact yeah. as it used to be as when me and Faye were kids. Like right. we were not that you can see Brad. Pitt like it was hard to find them. 
Yeah. You know, you can now, see them down now the they, they're eating right there. You know? Yeah. And it's like, it's yeah. not a big deal. But when a kid sees an influencer, they're getting the yeah. same treatment now that Relata- the celebrities. Relatable. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're getting the treatment that the celebrities that we grew up with are getting now. So the right. game has changed. So they're looking at it, the conspiracy, the Illuminati or whatever. They're looking at that. They can see going, the numbers. You know yes. what I mean? They know who's hot. Okay, talking about that as well, because um, David Cabarro or Cabarra, I will also put that in the comments. But um, he's an influencer that went to one of the parties. And mm. so I dove down the rabbit hole for this one because I was like, influencers you know that's everybody's like it's not a dream to me but it was something that you know i thought of i was like you know what i can model i could do this i could do that you know you start thinking about what is relatable to your people to who you mingle with me and you say we like the same water right yeah. so and we're, and we're both promoting it right you know it's just one of those things and they got groomed like found you know like they all live in an apartment that everybody knows about in Cali. So that's where he got he got he fa- he got found or got groomed is what he said. And um so he went into all of these rooms and each room had a color. And these mm-hmm. are for the new people, you know, and he goes one room, they were like all like you could tell it was like sexual the next room. And then once it got to like his religion, he was like, I don't want to do this no more. I don't want to play no more. You know, they kicked him out, like shunned him. Mm-hmm. And he looked in the next room and his friend was getting like humiliated. But long story short, they started gang bullying him after he went home. They started, um, you know, in public, like they even changed out his whole car that to just trip him out. Like now I understand why. And these are for all the people that, you know, that will unalive themselves because people are manipulating them. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to put out some prayers for them. But he even said if he wasn't that strong to have friends that are like, what are you tripping about? He would have been mentally ill. And. That's what they do to you when you don't want to be one is what one influencer said at these parties. And um, what else? Um, oh, yeah, we'll get to her in a minute. But Jaguar right as well. Yes, yeah, so we'll, we'll get, get to, to that. We'll get to Jaguar. And uh, video, folks, if you want to see the video that Faith's talking about, it's called I Wish I Never Went to This Party. And yes, the channel yes. is Dougie uh, Cordell. I, I believe something like that, his last name. Um, but yes. It's yeah, I, called... I, I, sorry about your last name. We love you, though. Yes. Sorry and you went through that. <laughs> yes, it's a very, very telling video. And you see, it, it's not just the influencer, because you hear this all the a time lot. from famous people. They say that there's a door. You get invited to the parties. You get invited. At some never... point, you're going to get invited into a, a house. Mm-hmm. And the house is gonna be broken down into certain rooms. Mm. And these rooms are designated by activities. Mm. So if you don't do the activities, you don't get in the room, right? I so like you. me, I, I smoke weed, you know, I don't do cocaine. So I'm never gonna be allowed into the cocaine room. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. You know what I'm saying? So there's some of these houses and parties I've been invited to, you get there and you realize, this ain't for me. Yeah. I wanted to see, could I get invited and get in that hole? <laughs> and then you get in that hole and realize, man, he's, I don't do this shit. Yeah. I don't fuck around like this. Right. Never yeah. ever, rule number one, get to a certain level, don't go to the, mi- you go to a party but you go, you go to, home at midnight. Oh, no, <laughs> Be yeah. Cinderella. That or you go to a party where the public is invited. You don't go right. to these private parties. You don't go to mansion parties. And, and you definitely don't do meetings at somebody's house. Like that's a red flag for me. If anyone wants to do a right. business meeting. Be in public. Yeah, be in a public restaurant where we yeah. could talk business. Do it on Zoom where you can record or right. record something. Like, uh-huh. Never go to somebody's house and be like, oh, they want me to come over there to read the script. Uh yeah. Red like, flag. like the diddler. Like the yeah. game has said they never did music. Like they could promise you all day long, but are y'all gonna do it? You know? Manipulation is a motherfucker with that. And just you know? to elaborate a little bit more what she was saying with the story. 
the 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 thing that she was talking about is very common and this is how they get you apparently um mm-hmm. is that you have to do a particular act they record it and there's something against your will something that you yeah. you really go against so they record you doing something that you don't want to do and they dangle it over your head and and if you don't comply then they release the footage that you have and that's, and that's just like list. mental that's yeah. a mental thing you know that somebody has that on you you yeah. know and it was just like like influencers they they just want to be known you know they just they don't know how to properly promote themselves and i've seen it a lot that they go down the wrong hole kind of but just to see someone get out of that i am happy to hear you know but he's kind of putting himself back out there but that's my opinion. I would be kind of scared to even talk about it. Well, it's at but, the point now. It's like, what are you going to do, right? Yeah, he said it was a while ago. So, but I think the manipulating and the gang bullying, people don't talk about that so much that Mm-mm. it's like if I pull, like for the people that don't understand, because you, you never went through manipulation, but people bring in other people to try to make you feel like you're crazy and that can make you just go into a room and not want to be seen. You know what I mean? Because everyone is believing this and especially nowadays they could post it. Like they're not shit. Just say, you know, and they'll believe it. So that's one thing mental health I'm all about. And we'll get to that later with the paintings. Yes, we will. Um, Was there anything that you saw that was in this kind of, um rabbit hole like i went all the way down to that story so i was really into it i mean for me or something was, new yeah some, something new oh mm-hmm. conspiracy theory wise i mean we've already talked about um the government's false flagging like false flagging terrorist attacks and things of that nature to get people the public to side one way um, but as far as the yeah, inter- one world order. Yeah, right? as far as the entertainment industry, I think I mean it's at a point now where people are becoming much, much more aware of these conspiracy yeah. theories that people are just digging at this point, and just like really. And that's what I didn't want to do. I was like, let me get some facts, you know, some yeah. hardcore. Yeah, what and- people have said. Actually. You know, so it's, it's so crazy is that these rituals that they do is so now like in your, in your face. face. <laughs> yeah, like you yeah. can just see it. You're like, oh, this person probably took the oath because they have this like, symbol here. And yeah, they're wearing dresses in red, you know, and they say red is like the next person up. They say mm-hmm. white is for perfect purification mm-hmm. right so you just see these colors then you see them throwing up the signs and you're like it's because they love it supposedly like reptilians they love mockery mm-hmm. hey yes. i love your eye color i can see yes. your eye. <laughs> no that but that's the um that's, nice. that's yes, the that's the symbol folks apparently this, i don't want it in my energy field this, Jay. no but i just got us <laughs> Unfiltered, we gotta let them get this apparently. So I as mean, above, this is at, as the below. checkerboard <laughs> apparently. Oh, no, not but the see, checkerboard, I the chessboard. The yes. chessboard apparently. The pyramids. I mean, there's so I love chess. I hate that much. they took my my childhood and oh like even the people, you know? You can't trust everybody. Yeah, I mean, but I mean, we were Going to discuss, you alluded to Jaguar White, who right, who's okay, been, yes. who has been on a tear for decades. Honestly, she's been doing, she's been talking about this stuff. People called her crazy. Crazy. Mm-hmm. She's been talking. She's like about, another Kanye, guys. So. She's been talking about this it, situations allegedly about Diddy, Jay Z, uh, Beyonce. So she's on Song Cry for the people that don't know who I'm talking about. And it's Jaguar mm. Wright is her um, Instagram. Mm. Um, to top it off, she only, just to put it out there, she only signed two NDAs with Sean Carter. Just wanted to put that out there for the people that are like, why does she get to 
that's the only two NDAs that I uh, saw. I mean, she said she talked about. But uh, what's the craziest thing you think she said about everything in her? Because her field is like hip hop. Yeah. You know, she's been in the hip hop game for a while. She's an R&B singer and she was with um, Jay-Z. So um, that's the top of the pyramid, kind of. Well, they're at the bottom, but whatever. The craziest <laughs> thing I think she said that had me going, OMG, but then I had me looking at things going, Hmm. Hmm. had to be about yeah. will smith oh my god okay that's what i was gonna say last time but i was like we'll wait for the conspiracy i love people as their artists now whatever you do on your spare time that's you you know but just don't hurt people and your son so, don't hurt just don't pass your kids. i was gonna say now Jaden. they say Jaden and justin probably have the craziest stories what she said yeah and that's so sad to me because of the movement, like we push to, you know, save the kids yeah. and all that. It's kind of sad that, that yeah. we missed that one. And it's, it's, you know? it's disgusting, but that also goes back to that whole sex magic conspiracy theory. Yeah. Because that's exactly see, what they're doing, apparently. I kind of feel like it's not right on the polarity. Not saying like I'm the yeah. one like watching, but they were so fucked up. That how is that free will? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's it's not free will if you're fucked up. It, like say it, I'm like fucked up through my life, right? And they're like, Well, you said you love me. You said you're gonna be with me. I was fucked up. <laughs> they were always fucked up. Did you see when he had the jacket? This is an older Justin too. Yeah. He Did you just see like, the video with the... And I'm going side to side, guys. I forget for the people Did that Did you are see listening. the video of Odell Belkin and him in that club? Wiping his face, guys. And Trey Songs was looking out. That's where I'm like, I know they're not your race, but what about brotherhood, you know? There's a lot, like I said, it, the rabbit it's a hole... romance it, to another level. <laughs> the, the rabbit hole, but if, like I said, if all those things that allegedly happened to Justin then the actions of why he's the way he is yeah 100% because if you listen to Selena Gomez which I do um Mm -hmm. she's always saying he was fucked up you weren't there for me that makes way like that it just makes him look better but it makes you like the lonely song like I like singing that one and I'm like wait (laughs) this is hitting different you know And I always laugh about everything because I try to put light to it, but it's a very hurtful case. Like, I hope he gets some help because you always see him crying. I mean, this has been this. This has been like this since Shirley Temple was. Yeah. Have you seen it? Have you rewatched that? I was going to send you some. So we're the real friends. (laughs) Yeah. But I was going to send you some Shirley Temple's. But I was like, well, I don't want to see it. No more. You know, the things that happened to her. Where they had her mom go into one room and she had to meet with the, I guess, the head of the yeah. studio. Oh, yeah, I heard room, about that. And he whipped out his, you know what, and told yeah. her to touch it. But she's, keep in mind, Shirley Temple was probably like, she's I think, five little. or six at this time. And yeah. she's laughing and he got upset and kicked her out. So then she goes oh, to I her mom to tell her what happened. And the mom said, Oh, it just happened to me too. This is the sickness that goes on. See, and that's where it we? starts. It yeah. stems with who's taking care of you, for one, and who's signing yeah. the papers, because a kid can't sign, yeah. right? But I was like, why didn't they stop the footage? Like, she's getting held. Like, in this dress, I would be like, no, I would rather stand. So I know how she felt being mm-hmm. tossed from guy to guy. You know, they're singing, but... Yeah, but that... It was so much it, nothing was that. wrong with that around yeah. that time yeah it's yeah it's, it's the rabbit hole episode folks the deeper you yes. go you're like holy yes but always <laughs> make sure that you come back out and know yourself and your life and your mental health because some people they do go down and once you're like enlightened like intelligent wise you start looking at people like what are y'all doing like why are y'all treating her like this? Oh, it's, y'all are gang bullying, you know? In all, in all seriousness, folks, real quick for the parents out there who have 
who want who are thinking about putting their kids through the entertainment mm-hmm. industry. Just a word of advice. I don't care what they promise you. I don't care what they threaten you with. You better make yeah. sure your ass is on set all at all times. Your child right. is not going to anybody else's trailer unless you are with them. I mean, you yes. need to be like a fucking hawk when it comes yeah, to your I mean, child. that's your kid, you know? I feel like some people don't take that into consideration. That's why you do see these Krishan rocks, you know, <laughs> like crazy out there, you know? But it's it really stems off to the parent. And yeah. that's the first thing. Like, uh, another thing Jaguar, right, was saying was, like, to come back out of the rabbit hole, uh, Chris Brown, um, like, what, what she was saying, they're pimping God's gift. Yeah. And she was including herself and uh, Chris Brown. Because if y'all don't know, that was kind of a staged relationship for Jay-Z's relationship, is what they said, or what she said. So, um, so all the people that actually do have gift, good gifts out there, you know, prayers to you guys too, because they are victims. Oh, yeah. You know, each one of them are a victim. But who are they going to go to? You or me? They don't trust us. You know what I mean? Like we have each other. You know, I hope they have somebody they can lean on, like how Jaguar Wright is. You know. But she don't care. <laughs> she's a victim as well. That's why she's come came out. She, uh, they did a lot of like you were saying blackmailing and all that. Yeah. Um, the humiliation is like blackmailing, and um, or is like you were saying. And she got hers back. If y'all didn't know that, so that's why I feel I feel her on wanting to make it different and you know sharing her story. So, yeah, I think that's like the hip hop side of it. Oh, and also, have you seen Lizzo? <laughs> that's what she was saying about the Grammys. Which, what, what about? Seen... Uh, okay, so Lizzo won a Grammy that Beyonce never won. And all of a sudden, Lizzo's this mean girl. And they said that's basically what they do to you to shun you out. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, and it's something that Beyonce never wins. So I'm thinking they might have good people in the Grammys, you know, <laughs> like but whoever picks on top. I, I just wouldn't put a pass at this point when it comes to this industry. I wouldn't put a pass anything that these people do because I won't be su- yeah. surprised by anything anymore. Yeah, like I would like say 10 years ago, I would be like, no way, Beyonce, no way. Now I'm like, I believe it. <laughs> I, I I wouldn't put it past her. Like, I really thought she was like a because she's from Houston. So she was known to be like, a, like a very like from church girl, gospel singer, like mm-hmm. everybody like Katy Perry was. And then you see it kind of strange. So I mean, but yeah, if you... that was the last thing was Lizzo. I mean, if you look at Katy Perry's, uh, this is not alleged. This you can look this up on YouTube. She said in the interview that she wanted to be like this great gospel singer, but it didn't work out. So, gosh, so much soul to the devil. She literally says it. Oh, like, why? She says it. I will play. I, I will play the clip, folks. Right the clip here. Right so, here. Oh, yeah, play it here. So, boom! You saw and- it right there. You heard her horse's mouth, folks. You heard her say it. Sold us all the double. I'm just saying. And also say bring up me? the pizza party. Oh, What's yes. up with that? Go oh, ahead. The, Tell the them about the pizza, pizza party. party. Oh, the pizza. She's like, it's gross. She's yeah. telling the kid, get a pizza. And it's just, you're too grown for this, you know? Yeah, it, it's yeah. The whole pizza gate thing, that was another thing that has to deal with child trafficking and Apparently the government, Hillary was behind it. And once again, it goes back into that whole S magic shadow. Thing. That's why I was like, bring yeah. it back in. Yeah. So the so. shadow do have a lot to do with the same things as mm-hmm. the entertainment is what I was going it, for. Right they're there. hand in hand. Right. And it's kind of, sad, um, you know, to have Disneyland, like the places you thought was so like, I'm going to go there and I'm going to be safe without my mom. Like, no, <laughs> you better not think like that. Because mm-hmm. there's something about the restroom number four 
in Disneyland. Did you hear about that? No. Kids go missing there. Hmm. Yeah. That's scary. And I, I went down the rabble. Yeah. And um, it was like someone made this video and it did catch my attention. So shout out to the people that made it. But it was like, did you hear about it? Because I was there. It was one of those. So I was like, oh, Ooh. that hit. Yes. So there's, I think, yeah. So it's a number four restroom that they, like, the parents are like, where's my kid? Like, after that. Yeah. yeah. So look that up as well. So, yeah, the rabbit hole is one of those things that you could keep going and going, you know. But as well is I want everyone to, to know and be aware so we could kind of make a change the way we can. I mean, I know we can't not have these sex parties and be like boycotting in the front, but I know we can be aware and uh, let your audience I mean, know that I mean, there is a good side. I mean, orgies are always going to exist. I mean, I don't think none of us have problems with the whole orgy thing. It's just more of the fuck the they're doing of it yeah the, yeah the, the attention of it and the blackmailing of it and of course the yes. younging of it is just absolutely not i mean if it's too consistent the mockery too though that because yeah. that's what gets a good person to be like fuck this you know yeah. what i mean i want to do something that you know all we can do is make awareness like we're doing now i feel yeah. like so I, I think everybody even our viewers have been to a party where things got a little crazy out of like, hand i'm out yeah. of here bye nope right yeah. yeah that's why sometimes i like going places solo so i can leave <laughs> i'm like uh, i don't have to say bye to nobody i'm gonna go. i'll be the first one to text somebody like yo i left <laughs> yeah like bye like i'll see you in the morning tell me like, when you get home <laughs> the minute someone's bringing out drugs or something like nope bye out yeah not being fun uh what's the craziest thing you've heard about any of these rituals or sacrifices well well the s magic was the craziest thing i've heard and them using you know the reason why they take kids that has to be like the most demonic thing i've ever heard when um, i heard the age ugh. yeah, yeah that's, that <laughs> yeah. that's that conspiracy is like the craziest thing i've ever heard and just like how um it's also so specific the, you know yeah, and also yeah. the cannibalism as well um is another mm -hmm. crazy one that people get kidnapped to be eaten um yeah. 40s these rituals and the the I saw something about those caves. Like yeah, there was a whole bunch of the, the catacombs stuff and things like that. Uh, mm -hmm. Um, the, also the crazy. Um, what do you even call it? Crazy. Of course, the Bohemian Grove is another crazy. Uh, oh yes. Where all that's, the politicians. That's the same. The yeah. Movers that's where I was going with that. Worship mm -hmm. the owl. And the owl's just like this really symbolism, and that's why Drake Drake is part of it because that's why he has that the, oboe. The, yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. keep in mind allegedly conspiracy. Allegedly, that's the allegedly. whole point, folks. I'm not saying Drake. In the front, we're gonna put allegedly. Yes, it's like where's Wendy Williams? Apparently, uh, I love Wendy her. Talk too much, and you know, you know they say it's the diddler. Yes, did he apparently? But then that's, she, that's, that's, he that's, he got her fired before. Yeah, because she was trying to expose. She was going to expose him allegedly of him being a closet homosexual. So yeah. then he look, but she's right. Like, I mean, but she talks like she talked to me. We bring out what we want, right? Yeah, she talks shit a lot. So I think that's where the karma comes in. If you're gonna down someone that's yeah she downed a lot of people so that when is he right. wasn't innocent either well, i mean my heart goes out to her she's going through but when he, williams wasn't innocent either in the media as well i mean she ruffled feathers as well so yeah that's the whole game out there right yeah. well she's yeah. from new york that's a cut, it's a cutthroat it's a cutthroat yeah. industry so you know everybody's trying to get scoops and stuff like that. that's just how the game goes but she wrote around the a way. new a new theory that came out was like she played sick. Yeah, but I don't. Did you hear that? Yeah, that she's that playing she, sick to escape because a diddler. Yes. 
I mean, I just, but how powerful I, is Puffy? Like, seriously, like Puffy got no, the whole. No, it's Clive Davis. It's Clive Davis. Yes, yes it's Clive. The, the people. Did you see that when they asked him? Um, do you know that he he, no. he was like he played anemic? I <laughs> think anemic. Yeah. He played like, dumb. He, dumb yes i was gonna say with dementia or something but yeah, yeah like he ain't know who did he. like come on bro you gave him bad boy records like stop right. it right like you know he's, who a, he's gonna pull a harvey weinstein yeah. all yes. of a sudden he's brittle yeah honestly i think diddy's gonna be the fall guy i honestly my conspiracy with this is that diddy has from these freak losses they're calling it he has the evidence and they needed to get his warrant to get the evidence because he probably has videos of politicians. Of yeah. Yes, of politicians, the movers and the shakers of this world. And they're doing something that can really just change the entire landscape if the public ever found out. So we got to get them tapes. We got to burn you know those what? tapes. Remember Vote or Die? Yes. So Diddy was like all about vote or die. So that just kind of shows you how in the door he was. You know what I mean? Oh, I mean, I'll put it this way. Because he was jumping around like he was their mascot is what I'm saying. <laughs> my, my thing is this. How is it that an actor can be meeting or be in a room with the president if they're not all working together in some shape? Or form? Right. I hate when people are like, I didn't know. No, you did. Yeah. Just, <laughs> uh, there's no way that someone famous, just because they're doing movies, I'm a teacher. That doesn't mean I'm going to meet the president. Like, oh, hey, right. we, we want to invite you. You have to have a certain it, level of yeah. influence. Once you reach, right. this goes back to full circle. Once you reach a certain level, they will come. And you will and have you do to make see a, it. And you will have to make a choice. And the choice yeah. you make is going to decide your outcome. It could be, yeah. hey, I'm not down with this. And usually they go, okay, but you're not going any higher than you are now. Just stay yeah. out of our lay. Keep your mouth shut that yeah. we came to you and you'll be fine. Or if you want to be on that next level, and you down with what they're doing, you get initiated. But keep in mind, there's going to be some strings attached to you, puppet. Right. So, like a be- person that kind of felt like, but not for them, like Britney Spears, I'm just putting out there. You don't do it, you get poisoned. You know what I mean? They fucked that poor girl up. The her, industry- her brain is fried. and it, And then now they're letting her live her life. It's sad. The industry, but they knew up. it. Yeah. They knew it. California knew it. You knew what was going on. I mean, it's crazy how, like, politics has a big deal on the entertainment nowadays. Yeah. Before we would just look at the politics. We would just look at entertainment. Now it's like both. Well, you you're gonna do dude shot in the ear, and everybody's talking about it, and you don't know what's going on on the other side of the world. Yeah. You know. Well, you do know that in order, like in movies, in the movie industry, you know when they feature the military, everything else like that, you do know that they have to have like government contracts to feature certain military personnel and things like that. So yeah, the government has their hands in the industry, like. It- yeah. Yeah. So, and it's, especially like the CIA and all that. Yeah, you I've, have I've, to. Have, I've seen those. They have to be involved, and that's when they usually like. You can't just go and use their name. Like, I can't make a movie and just be like SWAT, and you know, and they don't say nothing. What's that movie? Battle for LA or something like that with Aaron Aaron Eckhart and Neo, where they was fighting the mm-hmm. aliens or something like that. I think it's called Battle for LA, and it's literally an hour and thirty minute ad. For the army, it literally oh, that's literally that's why I is. don't know what it is. <laughs> no, but um, they put that's putting it in your face, you know. Yeah. Um, I I saw one that says how much they how much they do put into it, like they put yeah. money yeah, I mean, into it, y'all. Another good conspiracy theory is the food and water that we drink. Water is not the real water that we drink because they add all these chemicals to give it that little yes. taste. 
or the yes. chemtrails is another good one as well. See, I stick to, I stick to spring water, my bottled waters, but, but yeah, even like, then they been... said that's not the really real, real yeah. natural water. Like you literally would have to go to the rivers where they actually got the spring water and get it yourself to really taste what water is supposed to taste like. Well, apparently. and then they lie to you about water. You're supposed to yeah. be eating your water, you know? <laughs> there's, just, there's a whole bunch of stuff we, we you could just deep dive into to the food. Then we could get into yeah. the medical conspiracy theories of that. Uh, the we parasites. Actually have, yeah, we actually have cures for everything and there's only the rich get everything. it. And while the rest of us are just getting Band-Aids just because it's so much money to keep us sick. And also, it keeps you coming back, you know. Yes. And that's how and they that's get what, their money. And that's another thing I do like doing is planting and doing all that stuff and researching about botany and stuff. But one thing is, you know, you start looking at them throwing stuff in the soil, and I'm yeah. like, where? Who's going to plant what? You know. So mm-hmm. that's one thing. And the pollinators. So, yeah, you know, later. How how do you think the future is going to look? later with all the shadow government and everything messing up um, the climates dark as hell it's gonna yeah. get dark it's going to get dark like this is just the prelude everybody's happy it's like oh yes this is the 2024 is the year of true this things are getting exposed yeah, yeah it's just everybody, started everybody yeah. gets a break before right. this is the calm before the storm is coming yeah. I, I honestly believe that we are in for one hell. Are, are you up to date on the wars? I'm keeping up to date with it, but I'm not really focused on it. I, I will say that the pieces are coming together for the trilogy to be concluded with World War Three. Um, right. And folks got to get smart. Because you're going like, to see the work. You have, I mean, okay, like spirituality and stuff. Yeah. They say you have to see the worst to see the best, right? So yeah. my whole thing is, why are y'all so surprised when you see the worst? Because don't you're gonna see the best. So yeah. just have faith, you know. But I know it's pretty bad and prayers to everybody's families. I know you it's hard to even see out there. And another thing, did you stick with Tiffany Haddish when she wanted to go out there? Because I didn't. I no. stopped when she went into the plane. Honestly, I was never a fan of hers, so I don't really pay attention to her. No, okay. Well, I, I, I really don't. She's kind of funny to me. I think maybe the the feminine side, right? But um, supposedly she's like, I, I'm gonna go see myself. But I'm like, how far are they gonna let you? And that's where I stopped. So I, 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 I wanted to know about her. I don't really pay attention to her because. Honestly, I think her roles are so repetitive, and that's she's just the funny chick, you know. No, just the yeah. she plays. Honest to God, I'm sorry. This is unfiltered vibes. Honestly, I think she's still she keeps playing the black woman stereotype, the ghetto girl. It's just like show me some yeah. range. It's like enough. Like even yeah. in the bad boys, her bad boys cameo was just like you're not doing anything new. like on rust too yeah, yeah you're not same. doing anything new so it's like i'm waiting for her to give me something like oh okay nice. yeah like change it up yes yeah but. i think if she gets to action that'll probably be her thing you know you gonna have to do some type of drama role honestly to win a lot of people over yeah to prove that you're an actor right yes so Yes, we have came down the rabbit hole on what we thought. I feel like everything is so expansive mm. on topics that we just did a, a, a rundown on what they basically do well, as is, rituals and sacrifices. We just kind of... There uh, is one more rabbit hole I do want to talk about really quickly. Okay, yeah. And it's more, I would say it's more on the urban legend, mystical, mythical side. So I'm going to name a couple of things. Okay. I'm a fairy. Let's go. What do you believe? You think they're out there? So let's first talk about merfolk or mermaids, mermen. Do you believe they're in there? They exist down. They're still here today. Sirens, things of that nature. I do. I do believe they're out there. Do you believe they're evil or nice? Both. 
I think everything like I, I think everyone has yin and yang. If they, if they yeah, good, there might be some bad. That one I do believe in. I don't think that anything like how Disney obviously portrays it, but I do right. think that, like I said earlier, I'm afraid of what's down there. Because the more they keep discovering shit, you see these giant. Well, you scared squids. of water? What? No. <laughs> I ain't scared of water. I'm scared of what's inside that water. Okay. Hey, I don't want. That's I'm not why you want to like breathe. You're like, I want to see. I'm not trying to have a Aquaman taking over like Atlantis, city of Atlantis, rising up, coming out like, yo, we're finally here. We're tired of you polluting our shit. Okay. Oh well, you brought that up. Do you believe in Atlantis? Yeah. I do. Yeah, I think I there is, I think there are a lot of ancient civilizations. I mean, even even to this day, if you look at um Discovery Channel, they 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 show islands that have natives that you cannot enter because they have never really come like across. Like the tribes? Yes. yes. They have never came. I'm like, as... where do these people come from? You know, you yeah. have to like take those in consideration. Yeah, they're protected by governments because they have never been in contact with anyone outside their island. So if you go to that island, it's forbidden because you might be bringing diseases that they have never encountered, such as the common cold and things of that nature. They're not vaccinated or anything else. So they, yeah. yeah so I, if that they're there, like, y'all I, are poison. <laughs> yeah. So if that's there, I, I wouldn't put it past any type of lost city. Cause as much as we spend much money on space and trying to, and trying to see what's out there, I think we should start focusing on what's actually on this damn planet, planet inside the yes. damn waters because mm -hmm. we might not like what we see. I, like, I just I'm don't there. want no Godzilla or Kaiju character rising up from the depths of the seven. Okay, since we talked about the reptilians, <laughs> have yes. you heard of the Lemurians? Um, I believe so these so. are the good people. Yeah. So they're they say there's a gatekeeper at the bottom. So you're okay, Jay. If it's a if it's true, obviously, but they're the good people at the bottom. So, you know, but in every race, there is a good and there is a bad. a bad. So don't just take our word by like, you told me they were good. No, use your discernment, you know, <laughs> like, no, right. you, you know, next one, Area 51. Oh, yes. Did you hear about the psyche? about that no like if you try to throw like your psyche over there they already have someone that's blocking it to see it like if you're a psychic you know yeah. some people could like visualize they blocked the whole thing they said allegedly but well, how do you feel about area 51 i want to see what's in there <laughs> <laughs> see i told you they block i feel like they said they blocked it i believe that because if you have people on this side that can be psychic and, you know, are I, I, star, star seeds, there's some over there. You know, I would just love to see what secrets are lying behind. What I just want to know what secrets the government is keeping, what secrets a lot of things are being held with from us, because I think the truth is just going to shock or really disappoint people. Like whether there's something right. there or not. It will yeah. either shock people or disappoint people. But... It's like that that movie that's fake or damn. Now, did you hear about the giant in Afghanistan? Kind no. of same thing. Okay, like this guy came out. You, you can look this up. This guy came out and said um that they had like a giant on the on the aircraft. Like he's no hmm. longer with them. And that's why they they don't block off of Afghanistan, but they talk bad about it. Was a giant though? They said so. I, I mean, just want to put that out there. That also goes into the, the last one. With I was going to say the Yeti and Bigfoot, urban legends. Yeah, artists, okay, that's yeah. You believe that there were giant? Is there still a giant fur man walking around? And, and might as well bring in the Moth Man as well. Like these giant creatures that are. Still out there, apparently. So that's I, what they said about Afghanistan. <laughs> I, I, as far as Bigfoot is concerned, folks, I am sorry to disappoint you. I do not believe in Bigfoot. I don't believe in Bigfoot. I believe there there might be a, a mammal like this thing. Yes. Right? 
some like creature. a monkey yeah something right but i don't think like he's what we think yeah you know what I, I, mean? I i don't i don't think so and as far as the mothman folks i'm sorry i also do not believe in the mothman uh i think that was but a great you marketing believe tool. in the reptilian yes but they the say reptilian... they have like hornets people yeah too. but the reptilian thing i would say that could be more that's more believable i will say as crazy as that sounds that sounds more believable than a mothman or a big really like, because I mean, okay, if okay. Bigfoot how about, is so how about big, like lion? How are we not people? seeing him? Do yet? you believe in lion people? No, not the no, lion people. no, no, no. Like the, okay. I want to like when it comes to the reptilian thing. I'm saying it's. I'm saying I don't because remember I said I, I I don't really believe that they're taking over. I, mean, I think it's more demon demonic like. But as mm. far as the sea creatures and the, yeah, that is because it's. It's possible, but right. the Bigfoot thing is it, you're it's trying like to tell me the possibility of it yes, all, right? You're trying to tell okay. me throughout these centuries, no one has taken a picture with technology. No one has taken a picture who's been in the woods of this giant creature. No but one also has... on on that same topic. I know it's going to sound different though. Yeah, and the moon. Who who? Where's the moon? Jumping on? Oh. Huh? I... Yeah, <laughs> right, the, the, the moon is just a projection from what the conspiracy theories. Say. I mean, there's so much. There's so in many. It. That's why it's, I said that it's so expansive that you can really keep going. Yes. That's why I'm glad you made one where I could kind of be my Alice, you know. But I also wanted to know what you thought about all this craziness. Because at the end of the day, we're normal humans. I yes. just like to give off content and make everybody happy, healthy, mentally physically so it was just something that i wanted to dive in to see what jay thought so we know bigfoot does not exist in his world <laughs> and magic is crazy magic but, exists i believe um yes yeah see that's the thing i feel like if you orchestrate it the right way just like how people meditate to feel better ex yeah. examples like that you you have polarity yin just, and yang just yeah. the dark arts is just like you don't play with nothing's wrong with the, the healing and, and it's just more of exactly the dark. Yeah. yes yeah. so I, i'm more of like the healing nature of it all yeah. so you have to hear the bad stuff to go against it you know yeah. and it's just like anything we do anything man does is like if you know something you have knowledge is what do you choose to this is where the free will as aspect a human comes into play. Yeah. yeah so where the free will aspect comes into play are you going to use it for good or are you going to use it for evil unfortunately a lot of people are using this shit for evil like so. your superpower like if that was your superpower what would you do you know would you go and tell the world or would you go and hide it for yourself like that's what you see in these marbles yeah. and you know they're like I was watching um Wonder Woman um 84 WWABD4. It was my favorite one. I was like, which one was it? But yeah, um, that one, you know, it does have a lot of um, what would you do? You know, I don't want to yeah. kill the ending, but it's like wishful thinking. And that's where I think everybody falls into these sex parties, fall into the influencer parties, fall into NDAs because. They're just looking for that dopamine. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, yes. Thank you for going uh, down the rabbit hole with me. Yes, folks. <laughs> and comment below and let us know what is your favorite rabbit yes. hole conspiracy theory. And we will, we're going to wrap this up. As always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Helps out the channel very much. And she's Faye. And he's Jay. And we will be back soon with episode five. Stay tuned. It's going to be a fun one. And later days, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace. <laughs> yeah. Number fan, Jay. We signing off the air. Thanks for tuning in. You know we always care. If you did what you hear, give that thumbs up. Like, share, subscribe. Show some love. What's up? Hit that bell for notifications. Stay in the loop. You drop knowledge in the views. Real talk. No spoofs. Spread the word to your crew. Make it known. Fang and Jay show. Redefining the microphone. Pro. So keep the lock. Stay tuned. Don't miss.
Let your peak will be back with more fire Straight heat to your seat Appreciate y'all, thanks for the support Catch us next time, same place, same sort Peace Peace Yeah Peace Peace